If there's anything that 2020 has taught us, it's to accept and embrace challenges and look for new opportunities. 2020 was not something that anyone planned on. No one anticipated a worldwide pandemic. No one anticipated everything that happened as a result and all the fallout that our society has experienced as a result of it. But I guarantee you that people who had the mindset to accept and embrace challenges saw the opportunities and seized those opportunities when they came. This is something that applies to business, it applies to relationships, an overall mindset, a lifestyle of seeing changes and challenges as opportunities for growth. As a cyclist, maybe 2020 was a year to do an extra base, you know, a year to do some extra endurance miles and build that aerobic base. Maybe if you're a business person, 2020 was a year for your company to pivot. Maybe it's a, it's a year for you to make some changes that you needed to make. I know for all of us, it was a year that set our perspective right. That put everything into perspective and helped, made us think about what's really important. Anytime I've had the opportunity to talk to somebody who's a winner, whether it's in business, in relationships, in sport, there's one thing that separates winners from losers, and it's a mindset. Their mindset is, this is where I'm headed, this is what I'm doing, and there's nothing that's gonna stop me. And there's something to that that applies to life. There's something about that that transcends sport, that transcends business. There's something to that that's deeper. Accepting and embracing challenges isn't just something that we do on the bike. Accepting and embracing challenges is something we ought to be doing every single day. It's hard to be in good relationships. It's hard to stay healthy. It's hard to be consistent with your walk. But if we accept the challenge and embrace it, because we know that wherever we're going, it's worth it, that's the thing that's gonna help you stay consistent. That's the thing that's gonna keep you grounded when you don't see the results. What do you wanna do this year? Who do you wanna be this year? What do you wanna accomplish? What are the things that are the most important? Pick a couple of things that are the most important things and focus on those. And all the other stuff, cut it out completely. And that's how you'll win. I guarantee you. The moment you get off the couch and start thinking about the things that are more important, that's the moment that you become a winner. Newsflash, I'm talking to myself here. I'm the worst culprit. <laughs> I'm the guy that in his 20s was super inconsistent with everything. Who got into a hobby and then got out of it. And got into this thing and got out of it. And there's this old dude, Jimmy. He's the guy that got me into cycling. And he told me, listen, you'll be good and kind of mediocre at a lot of, a lot of different things, but you'll never be truly great at one thing if you keep doing that. And at 26, it's exactly what I needed to hear. And I've not always been good at being consistent, but Jimmy's words stuck. Our sport isn't about instant gratification. And there's something about that that it translates into real life. It's not about instant gratification. Whether you're talking about a relationship or a vocation, starting a business, doing a YouTube thing, it's never about you do this one thing and then you get the results and you can feel them automatically. It's not never just like, okay, good, now it's tangible. Anything that's worth doing is worth doing well. And anything that's worth doing well is gonna take time. It's like a farm, like a farmer. You don't plant and reap in the same season. You can't do them both at the same time. There's a season of planting, then there's a season of harvest. So when you don't see the fruits, maybe it's just because they're taking time to grow. Maybe they're just planting roots. So I saw somewhere, I saw this thing, from the time an apple seed is planted to the time you can actually pick the fruit, it takes five years. There's a lesson in there. 2021 for me is gonna be a year to sow some seeds, to plant some roots and to start digging. I heard this quote somewhere that I, I'll probably butcher the quote. Challenges are inevitable, but growth is optional. 
And that always stuck with me because there's no way to get around the fact that life's gonna throw stuff at you and it's not always gonna be easy. There are plenty of times when it's gonna suck. Not enough money or somebody in your family dies or a relationship or somebody hurts you. The challenges are gonna come no matter what and everyone's gonna go through the same challenges. But the thing that separates people who are gonna be successful is the perception of what those challenges mean. You know, are these challenges challenges that we're gonna get down on, be like, oh my God, I just can't do it because fill in the blank. What type of person are you? Are you the type of person that's gonna take the challenge and just be defeated by it? Or are you gonna take the bull by the horns? Learn to accept and embrace challenges and you'll be able to see what comes on the other side. I think that there's a really amazing, incredible year ahead of us but it's all about your mindset and how you see it. If you're still watching the video at this point, you're the hardcore one, and I wanna thank you for subscribing. I wanna thank you for watching. This YouTube journey, is, it's, it's a lot of fun for me. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just putting stuff out that inspires me, stuff that motivates me, and really, I'm just putting out the stuff that I think in my head. <laughs> so these are the thoughts. You're getting to know me and getting some insight into me a little bit. But I wanna thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, I don't know when it's appropriate to start thanking your subscribers, so I don't know, I'm gonna start now. Thanks a lot, guys. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, butcher out.